We were surprised when we first saw it standing there. The guns were incredible. The training of these pilots was given top priority. But with the tide of war running against them, there was little time for classroom tactics. The training was very simple. Four half days of lessons. Then you had to do your first flight on your own, because the machines were single-seaters. We had to give our word that we would not damage the machines. Otherwise, we would be punished or immediately sent back to the units we came from. With that warning uppermost in their minds, even for these experienced pilots, the first flights were always nerve-wracking. The sergeant who was on the wing explained to me the interior of the plane and especially what to look out for. For example, the gas for the engine was only stepped up very slowly, otherwise the engine would stall. The turbine engine had to get used to the speed very slowly, so one had to be very careful there. Once in the air, the experience of flying an ME262 surpassed all their expectations. For any pilot passionate about flying, it was a most extraordinary experience. Especially so because the roaring engine was not in front of your nose. All the noise was behind you. It was a wonderful feeling. The speed was really enormous and the flying characteristics were so advantageous. You actually had a sense of confidence in that machine. Although the German pilots would praise the takeoff and speed of the plane, it was the landing that gave them problems. In a 109 plane, one could just switch off the engine and drift down slowly. But in this plane, it wasn't possible at all. I was traveling at a speed of 400 or 500 miles per hour and couldn't reduce it. The plane just wouldn't descend. I looked at the altitude meter and had to fly in circles until I finally reached an altitude of 3,000 feet, then asked for permission to land. I lowered the landing gear and slowly approached the runway. Finally, I was able to land safely and was greatly relieved. In contrast to my usual takeoff and landings, I was completely soaked with sweat. Initially, it was planned that only fighter aces would fly the plane. But four years of war had taken its toll on the Luftwaffe's finest. So, regular pilots, some with as little as 10 hours flying experience, were drafted in. But for inexperienced pilots, the ME-262 was not an easy plane to fly. And over 200 pilots were killed in training alone. Of course, the first ones, to whom I count myself as well, we were the best. But those who followed us were often at the beginning of their pilot training and, and didn't cope with the machine. To put those people in the jet was totally irresponsible. We had huge losses there.